Guys, we have an issue. Everybody, and I mean everybody, is barreling down B long. This long, narrow death trap is impossible for defenders to actually defend. With there being little cover, long angles to span the diffuser from if the spike gets planted, and by barriers heavily favoring attackers, Pearl B long is in desperate need of changes. You don't believe me? The stats speak for themselves. DRX, Cloud9, and PaperX, all tier 1 teams, all ended B on attack side over two thirds of the time. But why is this site so flawed? How do we fix it? How can you counter this strat? And most importantly, how can you abuse this site yourself for free rounds? Well, we'll be answering all those questions in this video. But something to mention first is that each map has their strengths and weaknesses that you can exploit to win more games. And we at Skillcapped know all these tricks. Over on our website, we have map guides covering everything you need to know all about your favorite maps. And if those don't help, our subscribers also gain access to our exclusive Ask a Pro Discord channel where you can ask our staff any question about the game and get an in-depth response. With access to these and so many other features, I promise you we can help anyone rank up. So come give us a shot at Skillcapped. We'll be waiting. So what exactly is wrong with B? Well, to keep it simple, it's just too open. In any typical defense, your team is normally spread out across the map, appropriate to how many choke points there are. On Pearl, you usually have two people playing on one half of the map, another two people playing on the other half, and one person generally floating around the middle so that you're constantly in a 3-2 setup. The issue is that you normally have one or two people playing near the B site. Now you might be asking yourself, Teets, what's, what's wrong with that? Well, despite having two people there, there just isn't a lot of cover to play behind to form crossfires, there aren't really ways you can consistently slow down attackers, and there's just no good choke points to saw them in. If you do want to play a crossfire, you're most likely going to play in this cubby or behind this pillar, and someone is going to bait for you on site or try and fight with you. The issue with these setups is that these positions you're playing in are called one and dones. The moment you get your first kill, you're going to get traded. And most of the time, you're not even going to get that chance to get your one. If you're an attacker, you normally have a drone or information ability clearing out this front half of B main. If you get tagged by any of these, the odds of you getting yours is extremely low. It's just very difficult to play in this front area of B long. And good luck trying to slow down attackers. B long is so wide that no matter what you throw down it just gets walked around. Mollies don't work, Astra Suck doesn't work, Cypher's trap wires are predictable, one ways are easy to read, there's just no good way to contest this area of the map. Then when attackers get up close to sight, you can't stuff them in any choke point. I've seen people stuff mollies in halls, and I've also watched Killjoys use both of their nano swarms to clog up this area between screen and sight. But this shouldn't be necessary. Someone shouldn't have to dedicate two thirds of their kit just to shut down one lane of the map. And this isn't even that efficient as any agent with movement abilities just flies right past it. <sighs> And the mollies don't even stall for that long anyways. Aw, teats, don't get so down. I get it. Playing B is frustrating, but why don't you show the viewers some of the solutions you've come up with? Who knows, maybe Riot will hear you out, and we might see some changes in the future patch. You'll be a hero. You know what, Casey? You're right. I know it sounds like V-Long is the worst site ever created, and in my opinion, it kind of is, but that doesn't mean that you can't play around these weaknesses. As a matter of fact, professional team Evil Geniuses decided to run both Jet and Yoru on this map. They understand that people love to abuse hitting B-Site, and these agents are perfect at stopping this game plan. But why? Well, before the chamber nerf, B long was never an issue. Chamber would set up his rendezvous around the pillar or this cubby and would be able to play aggressive, but get out really safe. He forced teams to be thorough with their utility to make sure they flushed him out. This made their sight hits that much weaker and easier to manage. But when chamber got changed, that meant that no one else had a good enough kit to defend B as well as he did. Jet on her own is okay, but her dash isn't long enough to allow her to play in these strong off angles. The only realistic angles she could play are in these spots. And Yoru's gate crash is good, but if a team knows how to trade well, he can get punished pretty easy. But what if they combine forces to both defend B long and let their stall agents lock down the other side of the map? Then Yoru and Jet could both play in aggressive angles and work together to play for a kill and get out. And that's exactly what they did. While we didn't exactly get to see both of them in action, they certainly were ready for it. If they both weren't there, Yoru would anchor near Cubby and his Killjoy would help him out on sight, but still be in range of her bots to fight Ali. This comp is super strong because of the flexibility it has. If you're getting abused on B, you can fix that. Once you shut that down, then you can play passive on B and strengthen the rest of the map. So while Yoru and Jet aren't as strong as Old Chamber, you can run agents that can get out like Jet, Yoru, or even Omen, and it's still a pretty viable option. Now, there is a big problem to that first solution. Just run comps to counter this belong problem, right? Well, no, this is actually horrible. While it does solve the issue, it shouldn't be the end-all be-all. This site is fundamentally flawed, and I don't think that Riot wants us to build game plans specifically around this site. And if it is what they want, then... I don't know, I just hate the map, I guess. In my opinion, it's a bad idea to base a map's identity off of one of its imperfections. We need another solution. If you remember back in my intro, I was listing off what was wrong with the site. Yeah, that's the one. I mentioned how the buy barriers heavily favor the attackers. It's here where we can find 
a temporary solution to the issue. If you take a look at where the barriers are positioned for both sides, you can see that the attackers can get to the choke point years before defenders can. The defense just has no time to set up in any of these positions, and it's this area of the map that both teams should be fighting for. So a good solution to this problem would be to simply move the barriers. By moving the attacker starting point here and pushing the defender starting point up to here, this now gives the defense an option to fight for this area of the map, and this makes sense. Defenders shouldn't be fighting into club, they should be fighting to hold ramp. This area has a high low position that you don't want to be peeking into. Rather, you should be playing crossfires in these areas to contest this part of the map. This now allows the defense to choose from multiple game plans, either contest ramp, set an op up on the angle, or play the retake. Oh no, I completely forgot. Retaking B on this map is impossible. Oh my god, I hate this map. <sighs> Okay, so changing the buy barrier spots is a decent band-aid to the problem, but it doesn't fix arguably B-Long's biggest issue that I haven't even mentioned yet. Playing retake. God forbid if the attackers punch it up B, get the spike planted, and you are forced to play the retake. You can try and delay the plant by spamming through smokes or throwing mollies, but if attackers have halls control, this is hard to do as well. Once the spike goes down, you're forced with having to take halls and then try and stick the defuse when you have people blowing their entire mag at you from down this long sightline. And there's no really good way to clearing out these angles either. Sure, you could throw a molly, but in order to do so, you need to expose yourself to the barrage of bullets. And even if the molly does land, attackers can still use this big pillar to back up and avoid taking gunfights and later spam the spike. I also haven't even mentioned all the mollies that are bombarding the spike so that you can barely even tap it in the first place. Do you think I'm over-exaggerating? Listen to what former Team Liquid coach Sliggy had to say about this map in one of his videos. Uh, when I say a lot of the time, literally is a lot of the time. That's eight rounds that they managed to do. Eight rounds out of the 12 in terms of uh, their pistol as well, they decided to go A, and then everything after this was a lot of B. The only run they lost was when the defense side had an Astra ult. That is also the exact same uh, in terms of when B was lost in terms of C9 as well. So the only time when they try and go B and actually losing these rounds is when the enemy team has an Astra ult. So that leaves us with no other option than to literally change the map. And I think that by filling up this right side of pillar and maybe widening up this left side just a little bit, the site becomes a lot more balanced. Attackers can only spam the spike from the left side and it makes it a bit easier for defenders to isolate their gunfights. Is it the best idea? Probably not, but I think it's the best one I've heard so far. So if you have some ideas on how we can fix B, feel free to drop them down in the comments. All right, so we've talked about some good workarounds for this problem, but those aren't here right now. In the meantime, we should be asking ourselves, how can we abuse this hole for free wins? To start, the best thing you can do is use some form of smoke to block this right lane when you're scaling up. What this does is create a question mark for defenders as to whether or not you crossed. This forces them to respect both sides of the pillar and take a risky fight. Smoking this cross should be a default almost every round. After your team scales up and gets to cross into sight, your team needs to smoke heaven like this if you're playing Omen or Astra. Smoking like so creates a smoke for spawn and heaven at the same time. As Omen, keep in mind, you need to smoke a bit more into the floor of heaven for it to cover spawn. As Harbor or Brimstone, you need to make sure that you're covering all three choke points. And with Viper, I like to use this wall as a solo controller as it sort of blocks everything off, it gets you into halls and then you can pinch the site with your team. This is also when Initiator should use their signatures. Fade's Haunt, Sova's Recon, KO's Knife, or any Flash is really great for pushing back the defense. If any enemies are in the open, they should be easy trades. The site itself has minimal cover, and as long as you take halls and protect your teammates who are planning, the rest of the round should be a cakewalk. And taking this back part of the map only requires a simple Flash. But if the enemy team is on an eco round, I wouldn't even bother pushing into here. If they want to retake with their shotgun, or stinger, let them. And if they molly the entrance to halls, you'll have to wait it out, flash again, or pinch it from the back with your teammates. And as long as smokes are up, this should be generally safe. Then with this part of the map, you can easily punish anyone trying to push out of spawn as you're walking into a giant crossfire from halls and be long. This is also why agents like Harbor and Sage have been meta on this map. They make it impossible for defenders to stall the plant and make it much more safe. Sometimes you don't even need to push back sight. And keep in mind, while planting, don't plant up against this wall. Unless you plan on fighting the defenders as they come out of their spawn, because that's the only way you can stop them from defusing. This right here isn't planted for long. Rather, when you plant, make sure that you look out to the left to ensure the spike is out in the open as much as possible. Now, once you planted, you're going to want to keep one to two peoples in halls and then the rest go long. Halls itself is a struggle to retake because in order to get back in, you need to cross site and risk exposing yourself to anyone peeking long. But if you use utility to get in here itself, it shouldn't be too hard. The issue, again, is B main. If you're in this position, you want to bob and weep between this pillar and the back of ramp. By keeping your movement and peaks unpredictable, you're forcing the defense to essentially play whack-a-mole. Except in this game, there's literally an infinite amount of angles that the stupid mole can pop up from, and the defenders still need to defuse the spike. All of this makes up for one impossible retake, and a site that desperately needs changes.
Now, if I haven't convinced you by now that Pearl is a problem, I don't know what to tell you. Defending this site is a nightmare, and good luck if you're trying to retake it. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely possible, but in ranked? Yeah, good luck trying to set up that type of coordination. Regardless, I trust Riot will make some changes soon. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. It really does help us out. And like I said, every map has their kinks that you can abuse and play around. We at Skillcap can show you all the tricks for any map meta Riot throws at us. With a subscription to our site, you gain access to hundreds of hours of rating produced educational content. This also includes includes access to our Ask Pro channel in our Discord, where you can set up a VOD review with one of our coaches. No other service can offer you this much value, I promise. Now head on over to skillcap.com and get started your way to that rank that you deserve. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for listening, guys. I'm Teets, and we here at Skillcap want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.